Hi all, welcome to the ISA Training Solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about the generic object actions and generic browser actions. Okay, so these both things will help us to configure the script manually instead of recording from the scratch. Okay, so we have opened the developer mode. Okay, now go to the toolbox. Here we can see we have generic object actions and generic browser actions. Okay, so these both are depends on the kind of activities or actions that we are going to perform on the browser level or on the object level. If we are going to perform any actions on the browser level, then we will choose the generic browser actions. So drag this out. Okay. So it is showing me navigate to locations. Okay. So here I can put the URL. Okay. Now let's replay this step. Okay, so you can see this is opening the home page of this URL. Okay, so now, now I am not again recording. What I am doing here, I am manually configuring the script. Okay, so now again I want to click somewhere, then it is very simple thing go to the toolbox, generic object actions. Okay, now it is asking me to click to choose an object. Okay, click on this, then highlight the object. Any object you can highlight this one okay click on selenium now expand this and click here okay so it is clicking here now again you can click somewhere else by the same generic browser generic object actions okay now you can do one more thing you can change the actions type in the step okay so let's expand this again now go to the step here the action is click now you can change it from the click to the type double click click double click drag drag to evaluate javascript get properties mouse down mouse key press key scroll scroll into view upload verify so these things you can do like if we can change the actions as well on the same object okay now again so here is my object so what now in this scenario what we are going to do i am going to upload a file okay so i am going to manually implement a step which will upload a file here so again what i will i will go to the toolbox then i will drag this generic object actions then click here choose file okay now expand this and first thing we can do is highlight the object if it is highlighting the object means we are going in right way okay again it is highlighting okay now we are going to the step so this is click so we are not going to do any click activities right so what we are going to do we are going to upload the file so for uploading the file which kind of actions that we can choose is the set properties guys it is set okay so here this is set so as soon as I change the actions to set, it will ask me to the file path. Okay, which file from where from which path you are trying to upload the file. So this is the path. Okay, here I can give my path. So I can give this path. I want to upload this text file name VTS. Control P then VTS dot txt okay so now set c on file box file box so this is the object and this is the path of the file okay so what we are activities doing here we are uploading the file so now my step is totally configured to upload the file here so here it, it is showing no file chosen no worries just play this step so we can see the file is uploaded vts.txt file we can see it is uploaded now what we need to do again we have to click on this accept terms and services go to the toolbox then drag this generic object actions click to choose an object again highlight this button okay so now this is click right so again click here it has clicked on now the next activity is, is submit file again go to the toolbox generic object actions then click to choose an object click on submit okay 
now again this file this step is also implemented here click on okay so it has clicked on now we can see one file has been successfully uploaded so this is how we can manually configure the step by using generic browser actions and generic object actions okay in generic object actions what we can do click double click type okay get properties uh, set upload file so these things we can do on the object level by the generic object actions now coming to the generic browser actions okay so from the generic browser action side what we can do we can navigate to the url we can back to the page we can navigate front to the page we can reload the page we can refresh the page so these activities that can be managed by the generic browser actions okay so these are all about the generic object actions and generic browser actions thanks